Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Royals right now. And if you just wanted to play an easy acoustic cover of this song, it's three chords the whole time and super easy. So I'll show you that. But I'm going to just dig in and show you some scale stuff and, and you know, just have some fun with that melody on guitar and use it as a little lesson. So if you want to get some more info than just the easy chords, you came to the right place. Anyway, thanks for supporting Marty Music. Subscribe to the channel. Check in the links below. Thank you. Here we go. All right, this is a great beginner song, but I'm going to show you some melodic techniques, the melody, the scale, etc. But if you're just a beginner, it's real easy. It's, it's a D chord. And then a C chord. So these are all great beginner chords. And a G chord. So the chorus. Then we go back to D chord, D chord, D D D D D D. Then a C C C C C. Then a G. And the other part. I can't sing that high, I can't sing that high, but I can sing right here. Everybody, oh, do, 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 G in our dreams, da 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 d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d c e c c g, and then we can go D chord, D chord, d d d d d d, c c c c c c, then a g g g g g. Then we go D chord, D chord, D D D D D D D. Then a C C C C C, then a G. But this is like the, uh, well, it is the Mixolydian, D C and G D C G D C G. Uh, D, C, G. Um, and so when you put those chords together, you get the D mixolydian scale or mode. Which is very jam band, fish, Grateful Dead. So it is interesting to know or to listen that this is all the same notes as a jam band song or a Grateful Dead kind of song. Um, and why it doesn't sound like one of those songs. Instrumentation's different, all, you know, but the melodic content is still from that same pool of notes and little melodic devices. Uh, now, Mixolydian, you kind of can see part of the blues box in there. And so you have the 10th fret, E string root, so those notes are shared in the pentatonic and mixolydian. So they're in both scales. So it does have a little blues tinge to it. 12th fret A string. Do, 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 and then right next door. Do, 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 do. And so that, she's singing it, but that is a major third right there. It's the, from that Mixolydian. So you can see the pentatonic kind of box or visualize it, but then you have those outside notes that make it a different scale. Uh, 10, 10, 12, 10, 11. Oh, I'm sorry. 10, 10, 10, 12, 10, 9. Then it starts over. A little 
little variation. And then this little thing, which is all still in that Mixolydian. So that's uh, the D note, 12th fret D string. Do, 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 then next door on the G. Do, 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 do. Hammer on, 10 to 11. You could do that, but it's... And then I'm switching to this little kind of D major pentatonic box, which is where I'm going to go for the next part. And so now I'm in this kind of D major pentatonic, which also shares the notes of D mixolydian. It looks the same as the B minor pentatonic. But the, but the D notes are the root. And then also we're going to add this. Almond Brothers thing as well, although the song sounds nothing like that. So, uh, seven and nine, and then in that major pentatonic D major, you have this D major triad right here five root three, and that's the melody. And then in this position of mixolydian, on the D string, I'm going uh, 10, 9, 10, and then uh, goes down that. Let's see. So that's all part of D mixolydian in this position. You got the pentatonic outline. And then you add these half steps. When you learn the positions of the modes, there's always one string that only has two notes. And in this position, it's the G string. Before the chorus, nine 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 nine. Same position. I'm going like that. Obviously, it's a vocal anyway, so I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. Seven, seven, nine, eleven. And then I hit my middle finger on ten, seven. So. Da, 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 da. And so that's seven, eight to ten. And then da 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 da, which is eight eight seven nine on the G. That's all still in that box.
So let's see. D Mixolydian. <clears throat> D Mixolydian. <laughs> D mixolydian, D is the five of G major. So if you knew the G major scale, that's the same thing as D mixolydian. What you're doing is you're just taking that fifth note of the major scale and making that the root and it shifts to a D seven kind of sound. When I was playing it here, or those are still all the same notes as G major scale. I can make those positions sound like the G major scale by just starting and ending on G in those positions, just to show you. I was just G to G, but that same scale we were playing over D, C, and G. Um, right here I can do it. All right, but now let's just take that five, the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. Now we gotta really change our ear. Those are just all the notes of the G major scale, but now with D as our root. Doug the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Of course, I would love for you to subscribe here to the uh, Marty Music YouTube channel. And then I got free courses and other bonuses in the description below down there. Thanks again. Hope to see you later.